What's up guys? How's it going? This is Apple Core 666. So, uh, the topic of this video was actually suggested to me by one of my mates, and I'm going to be talking about Grindcore in this video. Uh, as I mentioned uh, in previous videos, a lot of what I talk about on this channel is music, especially rock and metal music. Um, not just news and reviews and stuff like that, but also like histories of genres and whatnot, because that's stuff I'm interested in. Uh, it's not the only thing I talk about. I do talk about other topics on this channel as well, but this is a lot of what I do talk about. And um, in a previous video, and you can check that out if you look through the um, my uploads, um, I talked about black metal. On this video, I'm going to be talking about grindcore, which, along with black metal, is considered to be one of the more extreme subgenres of metal, along with death metal as well. Extreme metal tends to refer to the more harsher sounding genres of metal, those genres that tend to basically replace conventional musical elements like melody and rhythm with just pure intensity. Those are the genres that tend to fall under the extreme metal umbrella. Um, and they can still be distinguished from one another. For example, uh, death metal can be distinguished by its um, low growling vocals, violent graphic lyrics, and bludgeoning instrumentation, whereas on the other hand, uh, black metal is more high-pitched screaming vocals, lyrics are typically satanic or misanthropic or occult, and the instrumentation, as harsh as it is, also gives off sort of a dark and at times um, ethereal sort of atmosphere in the background, whereas uh, grindcore is distinguished more so from the other two in the way that it's quite similar to punk and hardcore in the way that it's pure energy, pure noise and just chaos in musical form. A lot of grindcore bands tend to use no more than two or three guitar chords in a song. Grindcore actually started in the mid-80s in the UK as a result of two hardcore punk genres being fused together. One being crust punk, the other being power violence, also known as thrashcore. Power violence, aka thrashcore, is basically a much more minimal and much more intense, fast, harsher sounding version of hardcore punk, whereas crust punk is basically punk rock and hardcore with a dirtier sounding guitar and vocal tone. Those two genres basically fuse together with metal pretty much results in the grindcore sound. Arguably the first band to do that would be Extreme Noise Terror, who are also credited to be the first band in metal and possibly even in rock music in general to have two male lead vocalists, something which today is quite common. The second band in the grindcore timeline is Napalm Death, arguably the most famous grindcore band as well. Having released um, a couple of death metal albums in their discography as well are also considered to be uh, one of the main inspirations behind the death grind subgenre which as the name implies is a literal fusion of death metal and grindcore elements. Along with Napalm Death another early grindcore band to merge death metal elements into grindcore was Carcass who were more influential in the way that they pioneered not one but two subgenres. The first subgenre they pioneered was gore grind, which is basically grindcore music with gory, violent, death metal kind of lyrics, as opposed to the traditional socio political lyrics of grindcore. And then on their 1993 album Heartwork, they invented the melodic death metal genre. And then as time progressed, grindcore quickly became more international and spawned more subgenres and variants. These include the Cybergrind subgenre, which is basically grindcore that incorporates uh, industrial and techno beats in the background. Very good examples of this include the Berserker and Genghis Tron. Another grindcore subgenre to come about over the years, and yes, there is such a thing, is the porno grind subgenre, which, as the name suggests, is basically grindcore with pornographic lyrics and themes. This is a subgenre that seems to predominantly come out of Germany, and notable examples include Cock and Ball Torture and Gut. As I mentioned earlier, Grindcore's most original and most common lyrical theming 
is quite socio-political and some would probably say that's part of its punk heritage but over the years grindcore has become more lyrically diverse with the porno grind and gore grind subgenres with their pornographic and gory violent lyrics respectively and even beyond those subgenres there have been individual bands who've come up with their own lyrical themes for example the band cattle decapitation whose lyrics tend to revolve around animal rights and making a stance against animal cruelty and also the now defunct band Anal Cunt who are infamous for their politically incorrect boundary pushing humour kind of lyrics and many more examples uh, basically yeah Grindcore has become much more lyrically diverse over the years so there you have it that's basically just an overview of Grindcore Definitely not a genre for everyone. If you're one of those young metal fans who are just getting into rock and metal music, it's probably not the easiest genre to start listening to. However, I have linked some examples of this style and its subgenres in the description box down below for you to check out at your own leisure. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you like what you saw, please hit that subscribe button down there. And I shall see you soon.